deserves it. And Anthony says, yeah, you did. And that was wrong. We love you in Cleveland. Well, I know. I understand that. I just had, you know, I had some issues in Cleveland. That's all. <laughs> did you really? Well, oh, yeah. come back and we'll make it good. What's that about? Huh? I, how are you going to make it good? What are you, what's, yeah, how what's, are you going to make it good? Well, come to Cleveland. We'll show you some fun. What are you gonna What are you gonna do? Give us some examples of what's fun in Cleveland. There was some. Oh, uh, really? You don't have fun in yeah. Cleveland? I've been in Cleveland all my life, and I think Leslie, it's fun. start babble. Stop it. It might have a story here. I no, I was just gonna say. You know, there was maybe a thing uh, happening uh, in Cleveland. Uh, maybe a thing. What's uh -huh. going on? What? All right. Yeah, and uh, it didn't turn out too good, <laughs> so I kind of have a ugh spot for Cleveland. Well, why didn't it turn out good? Um, well, things got a little weird. Yeah. Why? Did like you wake a... up? She was giving you a tattoo. What? No, that wouldn't have been weird. <laughs> that was just. It was one of those situations where you know it just didn't work out. No burning clothes or anything like that. But um, yeah, it was, it was really weird. So you were with a scary. girl? Wait. Yeah, yeah. It was a girl who was Bobby, involved. Yeah. So, it was just just after my uh, breakup. Why was it weird? Um, That's what I'm getting at. It was, you can't have just a normal breakup with somebody? I don't get it. <laughs> I don't like, get it. What happened with this one? Eh, I don't know. Everything was kind of rolling along fine. I'm, I, I'm always into, you know... I'm playing the part of clueless things. here. I, I know who you're talking about, but I thought it just ended. Like uh, Like most relationships, like... Well, they do, but then they freak out. What does she do? Start doing things. I don't know. All of a sudden, I'm getting calls from her mother. <laughs> what? The girl's mother was calling me up saying, you know, how uh, I was uh, being, I, I hurt her and what? Hurt badly. And, oh, it was just awful. Yeah, but you're a guy that falls hard quick. You're like in, anytime I've seen you with a girl, you're, you're like in love, like within three days. No, no, no. I, I don't. But you I, no, but I, you allow it to happen. No, I just treat. See, the way I treat girls is a certain way. It's I, I I try to be very nice. That's your problem. I'm not one of these like scum scummy guys. Scum, like the I wanted to us? say the word, but uh, yeah, like like I, I, a lot of guys are like, yeah, well, I do this, I take that chick and tell her to go screw herself and get out of here and stuff like that. And maybe that works. I don't know. I'm like. I guess you know. I try. I'm a nice guy, and and, and yeah, but you know what girls and things take get that. things get, get, get they 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 get out of hand and they run really quick. But girls take a nice guy as he really likes me. They, they, but I understand? honestly, you know something? I honestly do. Yeah, but you don't. But, but you don't it's, like it them turns that much. it turns into this whole thing where all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, I got a girlfriend. Yeah. What the what what happened? How did that's that you. happen? That's you. No. You have to school them. You have to tell See, here it goes. I've heard this from Patrice, who is a, a master not, as far as you're look, concerned. Look, I'm not saying you have to You make, aren't even on a level close to Patrice when it comes your, to relationships. First of all, you're out of your mind. Second best you're, out of, comes in here. you're out of your mind. I may not be able to verbalize it as well as Patrice does, but you're out of your mind because I've been doing it since I was 10. But when you're talking about like telling girls, uh, I, like laying down the law... Like, it's here's not, what I'm it not, is, I'm not, chick. I'm not, Let me tell you something broad. That's not what I'm saying. That's I, not, I'm I not, think they look at it differently is what Robert Kelly's saying. Like, you you think you're just having a good time. Like, oh, this is cool. I'm hanging with a girl that I kind of like. And to them, they're all in right away. They're like, boom. So you're giving some kind of signal that makes them feel like you're more into it than maybe you are. I have emotional and and and, and materialistic um, uh, assets that uh, girls seem to like. Um, like, like, and, 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 meaning big hog. It, uh, no. Can you say that? No, I just mean like, I, I. You're emotional. I think. Off I'm, the bat. I'm an emo? <laughs> you, I'm emo? Listen, I'm not Bobby, saying. you're killing me though, because there's a story here. We, we, we so what is, was the mom saying? Uh, He's ready to open up. You know how hard it is to get this guy to open up about this stuff? That oh, no, the mom was saying that I, I, I hurt, I hurt her. How dare I do this? What, what are you doing? Do you understand how uh, she feels? That, like, and this is the mother. She got clingy fast, though. I mean, they were seeing like. Uh, Thank God that mother was younger than me, because I was able to just tell her, "Hey, you." Teasing, of course. Oh, not really. No, I am. No, no, no you're not. <laughs> well, it, was, it was close. Okay, but, but you're not. It wasn't. Um, it wasn't really younger. Because <laughs> uh, this one, Bobby, the reason why you're killing me is because this there was this certain person around, and all of a sudden it was done. And yeah. I thought it was just a normal thing, but now I'm hearing that there was some kind it's of... It's always something yeah, after a party, the, isn't it? <laughs> it was another party? Yeah, it was a party at... um. Where the hell was that? It was... uh. 
Yeah. Danny knows the Danny? I think it was your birthday party. It was my birthday party. What did you do at your birthday party? Make Nothing out with but... the waitress in front of her? No. <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> horrific thing did you do to did make it not. perfectly clear you were done? Yeah, we was Instead a of a nice bar. little sit-down, maybe at a coffee shop, what would you do? It was my birthday. What did you do, a booyah to the freaking bartender? <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? I popped a booyah. What the hell did you do? <laughs> I didn't do that, Opie. I... <laughs> Just once, maybe you like you do the tough thing, and you look him in the eye when you're not drunk in the middle of the day, and go, "Look, Jesus. I got to talk to you." What is that? <laughs> yeah. Why does it always have to be an over the top? I got to do something so crazy, dude. There's so, so much she drama. Gets the hint. There's always drama. This one was um was uh, my birthday party at Smith's Bar. We were all hanging out, the band's playing and stuff, and there was this very clingy thing going on where I couldn't mingle. I couldn't talk to my friends. Uh, God forbid I talked to another girl. It just got way out of hand where uh, she would run up and grab me and, and, like, hold on to me no matter who I was talking to. And then kind of drag me off somewhere. And then there were other people from her family there that were really getting hammered and falling down drunk. And I'm just like, oh, geez. I sang until I think my throat was bleeding because I didn't want to <laughs> leave the stage because I couldn't take being clung to like that. It was just being clung to. <laughs> and and that was pretty much the, the clincher there. I was just like, this is not what I want. You're like Citadel stock with relationships. What? You kind of go along like, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, I'm done. Bam! Drop. Then how do you explain me being in relationships uh, uh, for years and years on end? Because that's what I did. I, I was a long time. I'm a blue chip boyfriend wow. uh, for the most part. I was, oh. in, I was in for eight years. I saw uh, on the on the last one, and then what do you want to say about the the ex? Cause about that, cause uh, that uh, what M Melinda? No, no, no. Um, which one? Yeah, uh, you know the one that that you know. Oh, the C Cleveland? No, way back. Because that kind of Jennifer. That kind of ended in front of a lot of people. <laughs> Ooh, let me think. Oh yeah, <laughs> another dramatic ending. It's is always drama at. with me. What but, the hell is with look, me? If I, you took that ending and added it to the beginning, you'd be all set because they'd know who you were, and then they'd treat you. They'd that. leave in a second. No, they don't leave. They don't leave. And the uh, men don't leave. No way. <laughs> <laughs> is it safe to say that your marriage officially was uh, ended in front of a lot of people? At a live gig. Another dramatic. Oh, crap. Yeah. Wow, that was at, um, yeah. who was that, Sammy Hagar? Yeah, we were doing a live gig with Sammy at Hagar. Town Hall. Was it Town Hall? Uh, let's just put it this way. There were hundreds of people watching from the balcony alone as all hell is breaking loose. Oh. Yeah, that was a good one. You had your new girl there. Well, you know something? Confronted you in the front ex of decides everybody. to show up. Why the frig would the ex decide to show up when I got a new girlfriend? <laughs> what the hell is that about? She gave me the ultimatum. It's me or her. All right. That's a dumb. Hit the bricks. Sister. Hit the bricks. Oh, Webster Hall with Sammy Hagar. That, that is, was it. That yeah. was another dramatic ending. A lot of yep. dramatic endings for you. Yep. That's all I'm saying. That was another dramatic ending. And you know what? I was I was I was with you on that whole thing, but the uh the ending was wow. God. Wow. All my uh, relationships go up like Nagasaki. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happens. I it probably comes from your band days where you want to end with, you know, your most popular song and leave them with something really cool. I don't. Uh, oh, is that it? That's oh, the yeah. encore oh, yeah. to the relationship? Yeah, you Thank you. Good night. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, there's nothing else after that. You know, Zeppelin plays Stairway to Heaven. You know damn well it's time to, you know, find your car and go home. But the, Cle the Cleveland situation was, I thought it would be easy because it was long distance. It's long distance. Is that when you were taking little trips on weekends? Yeah, that's why. Yeah, I... yeah. Remember, I was going out and I said I was going to see Jimmy in Cleveland. But you weren't. No, I was flying out there, or you yeah. know, or or, yeah. or she was flying here. Yeah. There were things like that. And then, and Bobby, that's why I'm apologizing to you because this is something that we've been waiting for him to bring up on the show. So when he finally decides to, you got to go with it. Then we I can talk this... about his. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Then I got this phone call. Hi. <laughs> Uh, what's up? It's oh my god! It's like eleven o'clock. Uh, I'm I've been sleeping. It was what we had to talk. Um. No. Look. It's it's 
you know, this whole thing is kind of, I didn't say over. I guess I should have said that, but it was like, it's kind of, you know, we're in a weird situation here. I'm in a very transitional phase. I'm blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm just spouting this crap that means we're broken up. Could you please just catch on? And then I hear, um, would you be mad if I told you I was in your driveway? <laughs> um, I'm kind of thinking you're not presenting this as a question uh, because you're in Cleveland. Wow. I'm thinking you're in my driveway. That's creepy. I'm in your driveway. Oh, no. How did you get here? I drove from Cleveland. You drove from Cleveland, and now you're in my driveway. Yes. All right, come up. We'll. Uh, <laughs> oh no! Did you? You did, right? Yes. You have to. But, but, but that was it. After that, it was it. That's creepy. After that, it was it. That's just creepy, dude. That's scary. It, that was like that's weird, scary. right? That's, that's like a yeah. rabbit boiling on dude, your stove. Dude, it was weird. It was it was very strange. Dude, that's and, crazy. And, dude, and, how, and then there how, was this. And then get this. Okay, Keith and uh, Keith's wife Angela have been decorating, uh, doing the decorating duties on my house. Angela, really, she's fantastic. Place is furnished. It looks amazing. Uh, and. Uh, Keith is overseeing, like, the construction part of it, more of the calling people and things like that. Well, she volunteered her mother to decorate my house. And then I said, I went, like, very firmly, for me especially, I went, look, no, Keith and his wife are doing this. And she got this attitude, like, how dare I, like, not, you know, allow her, to the point where she dragged me and her mother to a furniture store You're in Cleveland. Right. No. To look at stuff. But why'd you go? Why'd I you don't go? know. Jump in your Escalade and come home. Why? You're right. Why did you just you tell the people here that love you? I have the Escalade. I had, a, I had a plane. Tell her to shut her face. We'll get a cab. Just why? take a cab. I don't from know why I didn't do this. Just, but, but all that crap, let me tell you that. All that crap builds up to the I don't care of when it's over. Can I when just, it's over, then, then all that stuff. Is in a box exactly. that I open up and dump out all over her head yeah. and go. Now I don't care at all. And you're upset. You're this. You're that. You want this. You want that. Now I don't care. Don't call me. Don't Can talk. Can I say to me. something to you? I used to work at Juvie Hall, right? And the one thing that they taught you was this. You didn't work there. You were in it. I was there, and then I worked there. <laughs> <laughs> one was, of those. <laughs> I'm a former gang member. <laughs> Let me tell you how uncool it is. Are <laughs> you that douche? <laughs> no, no, no. The kids could beat me up. Oh, okay, <laughs> <laughs> but. The one thing you do is when you go in there, it's it's better to come in hard and lighten up than to come in easy and try to harden up. And you're going yeah. into these relationships easy. Hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Really nice. And then all of a sudden you're a nice guy. And then all of a sudden you, you can't harden up because you've already been nice. If you come in like a douche, yeah. it's easier to l become a nice guy. I, I think you're going to sacrifice the numbers if you're douchey. No, you're not. No, no you're not. Absolutely not. Because mm -hmm. women love a challenge just as much as we do so if you i'm not saying you, i'm not talking i'm not like patrice is like you know tell him to shut up bitch should he, i goon arm he, him a few times he, then yeah goon arm him grab him and just goon arm patrice could call a woman a bitch and get away with it if i did it I, they'd smack me in the face if i did it they'd laugh exactly. it's not me it's different for everybody i can't but, turn into somebody else you bobby it's I not can't. that it's not that i'm not saying to be that i can't be what he is either he has like a gift with that stuff but you can come in hard i can't why? I'm not that guy. So stop being a pussy and get I'd into it. I'd love to be that guy. It's amazing. Can I? I can't be. And I think it's the insecurities of growing up, uh, uh, growing up with uh, uh, Rocky Dennis pizza face <laughs> and, and having a having to have a great personality. <laughs> Where the fuck did that awful. come from? Oh, I was oh, horrid. Why don't you curse some more, Bobby? Oh, I was. Gosh, oh, was probably, I didn't even notice what, that. And you oh, cursed sorry. again. Yeah, Bobby I'm thinks sorry. we're on what XM. What are you doing? I'm sorry, dude. Because now just... you just might erect his great nah, line. I think he got it. Nah, I, I hope I, so. Jimmy's good. At, I've good never, at never at heard right Anthony trash himself like I was terrible. Look at look at that. You want him to be hard? You got do look at look at me. You got doughy eyes. We'll put that picture up on onaradio.com. I got a big afro. An old picture of it. I'm covered in zits. 
I, I got I got what amounts to pubes on my chin. I, it was it. It's horrible. I, you're right. You know what? I, I had to be nice, guy. You you are making complete Thank sense, you, Bob. You, you were pretty ca- boy, Bob Kelly. You could be a bastard. Yes, That's you're right. right. You you should carry that photo with you. <laughs> You go, this is why I do what I do. <laughs> Listen. And this I'm, was before the radio show. I'm, I'm being nice to you because of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, here I'm, it is. I'm really, and right. they show a picture of you now, this. This is me. Yeah. <laughs> but this is how I still think. I still think like that kid. Well, you're still a nice guy. Yeah, I still think like that that kid. But you're not that, saying that, any, that, like, you're needs, not saying anything outrageous. Everyone has girl, crap that happened to them as kids, and then you you bring it uh, throughout your entire life. Dude, when I was hanging, when I was hanging out as as a teen, and and I'm with my friends, and and it was always outnumbered. There were always more guys than girls hanging out, and it was like you know Lion Country Safari. You had to you know pick <laughs> your prey and go for it. Right. Yeah. I. I always had to work harder at right. being a nice guy. And if a girl paid attention to me, yeah. I was like, I would really pour on the niceness because right. I, I, I was appreciating it. Mm. Like, Jesus Christ, I, you know, I'm a ghoul. How the hell do you, you know, how are you even going, uh, you know, talking to me? Are you, and that's how I felt. And it's still, uh, I guess that's still how I'm. Are you scared? But, not, are you scared to ha- uh, not have a girl around? No, it's not then, not having a girl around. I always want the potential of being able to just go out and and socialize right. with uh, with uh, women with girl with women. <laughs> Who am I kidding? With girls, <laughs> kids. <laughs> Can I add this? I love the children. <laughs> I got to add this to the Cleveland story too. Um, that whole relationship maybe le- was three months, right? Yeah. Right. Safe yep. to say. Yeah, yeah. Probably as long as the Jill thing. And she was, uh, she was all in early. Another one all in early. Jesus H. I remember Anthony called me when he, uh, the first date with Jill, or the first weekend, going, dude, she's already saying I love. That I love was you. A, that was a weird situation. I was like, what? You guys have known each other like a couple days. You know, that was I, a wacky situation, I, man. I used to do to avoid all this is I would used to get them to okay. do, do things to my oh. friends. <laughs> what? Yes. Any oh, girl yeah. that, and any, then you'd see any them girl in a different that I, light. Any girl that I thought I was remember you saying this. Any, That's right. Any girl that I thought was really hot that I might f- like, like, yeah. where I wouldn't be able to control my emotions, and it, I might get crushed, or I might, you know, I would always get her to do freaky stuff with my friend, whether it be, you know, full on or watch or yeah. something. So I always had that. I always had her down a little bit. I always had that little card on her. So she, I, yeah, you did my. She wow. could never bring up. I love you. You did my friend. Relax. You were just with my buddy last night. Wow. So you did the preemptive uh, strike. Yeah, to and keep everything. And That's it also showed me too. who she really was. If mm-hmm. one girl out of like a lot. Was like you're an. I really like you, and you're a loser for asking me for do that. And she left, which you know you roll the dice. Sometimes you lose a good one, <laughs> but I was right on most of them. You, you you know you know what it is. I and it's not even this ulterior motive thing. Mm-hmm. Like I'm not I'm not pl- I'm not you know in for the game. It I just like uh, I like being liked. Being liked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I just like going out yeah. and. Having people enjoy my company, things like that, authentically. Yeah. Not, you know, of course there are people out there that would just be, hey, you know, he's got a few bucks on him. Mm. This is cool, stuff like that. Uh, which I, you know, I could see that, but uh, you know, I just authentically like going out and having a good time with somebody. Do you need a little tussle? Sometimes I need a <laughs> hug. Dude, you got a magical, you know what? It's it's obvious. Oh, the, <laughs> it's obvious Jesus something. Christ. I mean, <laughs> these girls are driving from Cleveland in the middle of the night, and calling you from your driveway. That's creepy. You got man. other girls burning your clothes. Well, you got I'm burning girls' clothes. <laughs> right. But can't you just say at the beginning of it, look, I'm a really nice guy. I really think you're cool, but it's don't get carried away with you. I've know. started to get into explaining the fact that I've been in long-term relationships for my entire effing life. I could count on one hand the relationships I was in for years. And uh, I, I, I've gotten to the point where I start explaining now, this is not what I'm looking for. I'm not in it for this. Dude, are, you know? You want to be single for a while? Yeah, yeah. I don't right. want to be, I don't wanna be a boyfriend-girlfriend right, relationship where, where all that crap that ruins the good time starts getting poured in. Listen yes, to me. So then you, you have to, like you just said... You, uh oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> another hot one. No, this is Bob. You told this me. This is Bobby is right. 
What? Bob? It just said Bobby is right. Uh, From who? I'm not saying. <laughs> well, listen. Let me tell you something really fast. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you you sort of said it, but if you tell if you tell everybody up front. Yeah. You're probably going to even have more girls to choose from. Serious. I don't. It's not like I want a, a friggin' but I'm just uh, saying, scorecard. I think here. you, but you don't say that up front because you, you feel this is the only way maybe that I could, you know, you know. Uh, yeah. I want to be able to go out, yeah. have have a good time, and and do that with, with people. Just going out, having fun, without it turning into something else. What about where that? because the second it starts turning now and here's what it is when it used to turn into something else I was along for the ride for eight or nine years it was like a prison stint I would do I can't wait to hang out with you again because you're gonna see some really good actresses ah nah I just have fun with it <laughs> <laughs> but it got it got to the point where where it was like yeah I I'd fall into it again and be going and instead of just sitting along for the ride now I'm starting to say I am learning Bob because I am starting to say like look. This is getting way, way too carried away here. Yeah, and it, and I think they're surprised by that sometimes because I say it a little too late, because early on it seems like I'm trying to become a boyfriend because I'm doing things I think that boyfriends should do. I guess, you know, treating them nice, maybe getting them some stuff. I don't know. Did I don't know. But it's just the way I've been. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to play a game. Did you ever want to be uh, the boyfriend of Jill? Or did you get uh, like swept away in that? No, I because you were doing boyfriend. No, things. I didn't want to be her cat no. neutered. Yeah, you guys showed up. The first time and... I saw you, dude, you guys were holding on to each other like you just got said I do, and you were dude, walking down the aisle. Let it me was, tell you something. I've never, I've never walked in anywhere with a girl and held her like that. Every the thing is, every second during that first date thing, the when we you know took the cat to be neutered and all that stuff. Every second of that, I was thinking of what good radio it would make. So that kind of told <laughs> oh me, God, like, like that was just, God bless you. like, all everything that was happening, I'm thinking, this is a good break. All right, this will work. This, so, <laughs> God bless you. So it wasn't so, so much like, it wasn't so much like, like, oh, my God, I'm falling head over heels. And I, I'm not sure she never said it, but I think there was something that, that uh, was on her side as far as, you know, it's kind of good publicity that I'm on the air talking about it. We're talking about her, her news show and things like that. People are tuning in. So it worked both ways. So I'm not sure, you know, until until the, the, the breakup, uh, I, I, I didn't know how really serious that was. Did she have clothes at your house? What? Did she have clothes? Oh, yeah, yeah. She we, had clothes. Yeah, we went away. When, when she went to pick up her, her clothes, she found uh, the other girl's clothes and burnt them. Yeah. <laughs> Where have you been, Bobby? <laughs> we have to take a break. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, you're hearing this for the first hysterical. time? <laughs> it's always oh, drama, man. Bobby. <laughs> always. That's what we were getting at. Yeah, anything else on the on the Cleveland girl? Nah, is, if anything comes up, I'll I'll bring it up, but that's about it. Some creepy <laughs> stuff there. All right, <laughs> All right we're going to wrap up next.